Hey guys, I'm just doing a quick little review video of a um, product that was sent to me to review. This is called Boo Boo Cover Up. And this is really weird because it came in a, um, like a mailing envelope and it has the box, but the product wasn't in the box. The box is just flattened. I guess they gave this to me to have the instructions and everything on it. And then the product itself is right here. So what this is, is like a concealer for cuts, I guess, says to be, you can use it for like, um, nicks when you're shaving, scratches, scrapes, bug bites, so it shows you like, that's what it looks like if you put ointment on a bug bite, and that's what it looks like if you put the boo-boo uh, cover up. Now the stuff is just odd to me because it says right on it, not intended for use on open wounds. I was originally thinking before I even got, the, the, got this that this was going to be like liquid bandage but a colored liquid bandage that camouflages the cut or scrape or whatever and I just don't I don't really see the point of it if you can't like I see yeah bug bites as long as you it's not like a bleeding one that you scratch too much I guess but like I guess it depends where it is on you like I I'm not gonna care if I have like a cat scratch on my arm or something but say your cat scratched your face by accident or something and you want to cover it up so this is like a concealer for that and they have different shades I got it in light um, it was made in Canada <laughs> but I'm going to show you it's really really pigmented it's like a really thick concealer and it might be a little off color wise for me so you're supposed to just like tap it on to blend it but the thing with it is is it has a very like medicinal scent to it almost menthol-y I don't know how to describe it um, but their thing is conceal while you heal so it does have uh, vitamin E and aloe in it and I'm trying to figure out what the scent is but there's a whole bunch of other ingredients on the back uh, we packed it with ingredients found in nature that are known to promote healing like vitamin E and aloe and then there's all these ingredients on the bottom that there's a bunch of stuff you can't pronounce um, another thing I found odd is that it doesn't say that it's waterproof or anything on this card though it says it has aloe chamomile green tea tea tree oil and vitamin E on the bottom there and you can uh, I will put this code in the description box below but they gave me a 10% off code for um, their website which is just booboocoverup.com this is the code right here but I will put it in the info box below so that you can um, just like copy and paste it if you decide to get this I'm actually I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna go see if it's waterproof. I'm gonna run it underneath the sink. So let's dry it and test it out. Because I don't really have any cuts on me right now. But you know what? I have, I still have eczema right here. So hopefully this won't aggravate it, but I'm gonna try and cover up my eczema with it. See, the skin here is really dry and it looks kind of gross <laughs> trying to cover it like this. You can still see this spot too, even though it's dry now. So it's not smudging when I go over it. It's not smudging at all. So let's go run it under the sink and see what we come up with here. I will take the camera with me so you can see what I'm doing. And there's a piece of hair on this thing. So it looks like it's waterproof, it didn't come off there, I wasn't scrubbing or anything but it didn't come off under the water so that's pretty good. So without scrubbing or anything and just running it under the water, my hand's still wet but you can see it didn't come off that way. 
and it doesn't look like it's coming off this way either so I guess in that respect it is kind of like the liquid bandage stuff because it's not wiping off but it's not gonna be for like a deep cut or anything like you can use liquid bandage with why is my camera crooked now and that scent doesn't really the menthol scent doesn't really last so makeup remover takes it off but I can't imagine you're gonna wanna be putting makeup remover over a scrape or anything <laughs> so yeah this is kind of like just one of those silly products that someone came out with like you can't use it on open wounds so um, the only thing it's got going for it that's different than concealer if you were to just like to conceal a bug bite or a scratch with normal concealer is that it has um, chamomile and aloe and green tea and tea tree oil and vitamin E in it so it has that healing property but again like I said <laughs> You can only use it for bug bites and like minor little scratches, so if you want to, if you're, how do I put it, if you have, the best thing I can think of it to be useful for that I would actually buy this would be like if your cat scratched your face by accident and you have to go somewhere like to an event or something that you actually care enough that you have to cover it up, then yeah, that would be good for that. Otherwise. If I have a bug bite, I'm not going to take the time to conceal it with this, and if I, if I have a, uh, like a scrape on my leg or something, I don't know that I would actually take the time to use this and conceal it. But anyways, it's a good idea if you have a scrape on your face or like a noticeable one that you don't want showing for something. But other than that, it's kind of like a gimmicky, I guess is the word for it, a gimmicky thing. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to ramble on too much more because this is just too much. <laughs> but I just wanted to be honest and do that little review for you guys, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Don't get scared, take a chance. Don't let it slip through your hands. Love.